morning guys, my name is Ruben Alves, I'm from Robotic Net Academy and today you are going to see how to solve this problem YAML dumping using C++ What the user wants to do is just, for example, I mean how I dump, how do I dump my parameter values into a YAML file using C++ and he tried this but no luck, no luck as you can see here Ok, in order to solve this problem, let's use Robot Ignite Academy Let me launch a course here to get all the ROS environment running And let me close these instructions here Because you are not going to use them now Ok, ROS environment running First, let's create a package on our catkin source folder With the catkin Catkin create package, the name of our package is going to be tutorial and depends on ROS CPP because it's a C++ package so ok, now we have here our tutorial let's create ok it's already here on the left side um, let's create a new file here, let's call tutorial underscore node cpp let's create here a single node include ROS mm. Mm, ok, creating a single ROS program here Let's make it a ROS node, so ROS init, argc, argv, and let's call our node tutorial node And let's let, let, let's keep the node running Ok, here we have a single ROS node Now let's copy the code of this user and see why it doesn't work Or if it really doesn't work Let's copy and paste here. If you if you run this command on our let's run just ROS param dump in our sh web shell, for example, we can see all the parameters. If you run this command complete, this parameter should be dumped on this file called example eml. So if you see here, there is no example file, and if you run this command Now we have this example, so the file was created and this command works well when we run on the web shell So, let's remove it again Ok, so let's try to compile this code and see if it works for that, we have to change our CMake list to create the executable. Mm, this CMake list was created when we run this command, the command to create our package. If we come in here, there is a line called this one, add executable. It's going to create a node called the name of our project, tutorial node, using this tutorial node file, this one here. And in order to find the ROS to link to the ROS libraries, we have to uncomment this line. Ok, now we can compile our package. Let's enter on our catkin workspace and run catkin make to compile our package. And if we see here, the user is trying to run ROS param using C++ uh, This ROS param command is in Python, as you can see here on the repository So there is no API to use it with C++ directly So that's why the user is have tried using this system command This option Let's wait until our node compiles, ok, 100% it's ok now if we run our node let's run ros run the name of our package is tutorial and our node is tutorial node let's see what happens mm, 
nothing. Oh, let me close it. Okay. It's it's it, if we check here. If we check here, the file was created. But let me put here some some debugging message. For example, echo. Ross Params dumped and just to know, okay, the command has executed. Let's compile our node again. Cat can make. Let's remove this example again. And node our node once again. Let's run tutorial node. Okay, it has successfully executed ROS params dumped at this location, ROS user cat can workspace. Okay, I here it is. Now if you run this comedy with ROS launch, let me create a new folder here called the launch. And create our new file called the dump launch. Okay, file is here. Let's create here the launch. Let's call our node. Let's call it uh, tutorial node. It's on the package tutorial. The name of our executable is tutorial node. And let's put the logs on the screen. Now let's run. If we execute, for example, I'm on the category space. If I move to other folder and run the uh, the ROS run, we can see that the generated example file is on the current directory. For example, ROS category workspace source. As we can see here. Now if I run our ROS launch, the directory is probably going to be different. So ROS launch, tutorial and dump launch. Okay, when you run our ROS launch, the location is different, it's not on the directory that I'm in currently. It's on this um, home ROS directory. So if we go to this directory, mm, okay, okay, here it is. So that's it, guys. This is how to do it because we will probably don't know where it's been saved. It. So this echo ROS parameters dumped at and this is going to give you the current location working directory and that's it i hope you enjoyed the video and if you liked the video don't forget to subscribe our channel see you